to today's session, uh, you can also use an IDE for this code editor and integrated uh, development environment for Android for the Java part of the module 3. So first thing you will see if you open the app, it will ask you to create a new Java if you want to create a new Java project. So let's create a new Java project. Let's call it Warehouse 1, for example. Choose a package name. Let's call our packages in.sse.rit. And our main class is called main. So now here um, and an ID created the co complete folder structure for Java project. All those files and all those folders you see here are created on your file system on your phone. So if you use your phone, um, you also can submit this Java file on Moodle. Just go to Moodle with your browser and use the submit field on the warehouse assignment and then there will be a dialog and you can choose on your phone the Java files we created here. So We have a main one, one file, main Java. Um, really nice thing of this uh, Android app is that there is also auto complete code completion or IntelliSense available. So just bring if you want to system dot out. Dot print line and you print a string hello world. So now on the air. Yeah. On the top, you can find a play button. Just hit the play button and it runs our Java program. In this case, printed Hello World. So, of course, you can also create a new file. Just open the menu and here on this RIT folder or whichever folder in whichever folder you want to create a file, just click on this plus. You want to create a Java file here, let's call it um, person, for example. We, we want a class in the, this package of visibility, public. No modifiers and let's click OK. Now we got two files, the main Java and the personal Java. The person, person <coughs> let's create a field here. Let's create a string. String print. Sorry, private, private string name, name, <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit hard, use the keyboard, if you're not used to the keyboard, so we got uh, our string name, let's create a setter and a getter. Um, 
it's still something like no but let's create a public string can we capitalize it yes so if you um, select a word you can use the shift key to capitalize the first letter or again to capitalize both words and again to um, make all letters lowercase so public string get name Um, what do we want to do here? We want to return this dot name. And of course, we also want to set the name, so we need setter steering string no no string void set name and uh, we will just set the name this dot name yeah of course we also <laughs> need an argument here string name What's that name is name so now we got a class person with a, with a field name one getter and one setter so let's go back to Java let's create uh, to main to main dot Java let's create a an object person p person equals new person and let's assign a name person dot No auto completion on our person class or person object. Um, yeah, what do which name do you want to set? Let's set the name to Raymond. Close it and. Did I miss something? Person, person is no person. Person said name. Yeah, system out print time. What is this? It's a strange color. Oh, okay. Never mind. Print line. Person dot. Yeah, it's a pity that we don't have. Auto completion or intelligence here. Okay, so we created a person, we assigned a name, and now we want to print the name. So let's hit play, and we have my name. Good. Yeah, what else? Of course, you can also not just create um, Java files. Oh, okay. You also can create folders to structure your content.
and create shadow files again of course and you also can import files with select from storage yeah i think that was it for now i also already mentioned that you can submit the uh, java files on moodle i just use your phone to browse to moodle and submit the java files for the assignment so thank you very much and see you next session